What business or societal problem keeps you up at night right now, and why? So I think, uh, you know I'm a debt guy, so obviously to debt guys it's always raining. But there's, I think, a few things I think about right now. One is, there's a difference between the creation of wealth and prosperity. We have a stock market that's going up, but the average lifespan of an American is going down the last two years. Um, um, I, obviously, I'm not sure we're at a place where we're solving problems uh, in a bipartisan way. And I think that part of it is how we are looking and defining our problems. And, uh, you know, one example I have is, is immigration. And obviously there's a moral, an important moral issue there, which I believe strongly in, in immigration. There's obviously some security arguments, but there's also an investment argument about what it means in investing the future in the future of our country. And I, I tell a story of three immigrants who represent how important um, a, immigration could be for future generations. Um, there's a guy named Abdul Fattah Jandali, um, a guy named Andruf Gruf, and a guy named Ai Rabi. And you probably have never heard of any of those three except you probably have. Um, Abdul Fattah Jandali um, came to America, Americized his name to John Jandali, and gave his son up for adoption, and he was adopted by a guy named Paul Jobs, and his son was Steve Jobs. And Steve Jobs certainly had a big impact on America. And while his father would have never qualified for any sort of special visa, that Syrian immigrant's son had a huge impact on America. Andruf Gruff, changed his name to Andy Grove and was a busboy who I believe went to City College in New York and his impact on Intel and made the entire computer industry for the United States and I.I. Rabi um, came to the United States and was head of the physics department at Columbia University which produced 11 Nobel Prize winners wow. two of which he taught personally obviously he won one of them and the effects of what their impact on our economy, on our country, um, could never have been predicted. And I fear that we lose sight of that when um, we think about immigration in the polarized way that we're talking about it. Because those people, their parents, were going to go somewhere. And you don't know, you know, who's going to be the next Steve Jobs, who's going to be the next Nobel Prize winner taught by I.I. Rabi, or who's going to be the next Andy Grove. And part of what has made America great is this is where they all want to come. And if they weren't allowed to come here, they were going to go somewhere. So as an investment in our future, I think it's really important that we think about this issue a lot differently than we're thinking about it now.